Hello everyone. Welcome to Reinforce 2024. Reinforce is a security immersive builder experience event that is created and available for now the generative AI era. Generative AI is the transformation technology that has taken the industry by a storm. In this challenging time, we are helping customers how to secure generative AI. And that's usually thought around three key pillars. The first one is securing generative AI workloads. AWS provides a wide stack of generative AI capabilities, right from silicon to the middle layer of foundational models, as well as enterprise applications. We also have services that protect these workloads for customers. Secondly, how can generative AI be leveraged for security outcomes, which is helping improve productivity and improving their day-to-day -day operations? With improvements in our native security services, such as Amazon Inspectors, uh, vulnerability Lambda code scanning that provides remediations, uh, not only findings, but also remediations and recommendations, or Amazon Detectives finding summaries that provide natural language inferred summaries of where security teams should take actions on are examples of how our native security services are incorporating generative AI to improve security outcomes for our customers. And thirdly, how can customers protect against Gen AI generated threats? This is also an area where our native security services that help with infrastructure protection and or network and application protection, such as a web application firewall or shield, are helping customers against those threats and use cases. There is a wide variety of learning capabilities and catalog that will be available for you and customers to leverage and learn around these key areas. Reinforce 2024 was also included with exciting new announcements as well as news. First and foremost, our new CISO, Chris Betts, opened up with the emphasis on the culture of security and security being the top priority. This is something that's resonating with customers very well. And we also are now enabling our customers to scale security within their organizations by making security as a top priority across their business teams, their application teams, and building that culture of security from ground up. In the following session, you'll hear in-depth analysis of some of these key launches and how they are helping our customers. We're on the expo hall right now, but in this video, we're going to uh, cover some of the new features that, get, that got launched and give you a little background on what you need to know about them. So, Justin, why don't you start by telling us your most favorite feature launch yeah. so far? Awesome, thanks, Marshall. Yeah, so I'm most excited about the S3 protection added to Guard Duty. Customers today use Guard Duty for a fully managed threat detection service, and now they can add malware protection for the S3 objects uploaded to their buckets. So if you have a use case like an application and there's untrusted files coming into that application, now you can scan those and build a pipeline to secure that data and take remediation actions to um, you know, respond to data that's discovered uh, to have malicious or, or viruses in it. It's definitely one I know a lot of customers have asked about. My next favorite is Security Lake adding more native AWS sources. So customers use Security Lake to aggregate and centralize their security log data, and those additional sources uh, uh, allow them to do more analytics and have that log data all in a single place. And now, with AWS WAF logs, you can see things like the requests, you can do analytics on your web application traffic, uh, and then have all of that in Security Lake. And while we're on the detection and response domain, actually, AWS CloudTrail Lake AI-powered natural language querying. So CloudTrail Lake is uh, an immutable data store where you can collect CloudTrail logs and, uh, and some other logs as well. But this gives you the ability to write natural language questions and get insights into that CloudTrail data. Right. So very cool, another generative AI launch from AWS. And now, let's go hear about data protection. Hi, everyone. My name is Rohit Panjala. I'm a security go-to-market specialist here at AWS. And today we launched a new feature for AWS Private CA called Connector for SCEP. Uh, that stands for a Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol. And it allows you to issue certificates to your mobile devices that are connected to your internal network. Um, and now you don't have to build your own custom solution to do this. And you don't have to manage multiple uh, PKI. And you can do this all through AWS Private CA at no additional cost. 
Uh, for more information, check out the links below. Hey folks, welcome to another great week at Reinforce. Uh, so my name is Sophia Luma and I'm a Network and Application Protection Specialist in our security organization. I just wanted to touch on a few great uh, product updates that we've had upcoming to Reinforce. So first up, Firewall Manager recently released its support of NACL. So this means customers are now able to implement uh, baseline rules to protect their subnets across their accounts and apply auto remediation to revert some of those changes if needed. We have also have some exciting updates coming to our AWS Network Firewall service. So for TLS inspection, uh, we have customers are asking for additional visibility on their certificate errors, and we're pulling that into our reporting and our logging, such as uh, where a certificate may have been revoked, its error status, and its versioning. Uh, also, customers are asking for uh, TLS uh, SNI uh, ability to write rules on TLS SNI and decrypted traffic. So we're pulling that in to give customers the visibility on those SNI details uh, to be able to write more fine-grained rules on that SNI traffic. Thanks for coming out. Uh, really appreciate folks uh, coming out here, and I hope to see you all at reInvent. If you want to learn any more about these upcoming features, just click on these links below. Justin, why don't you tell me about the new identity launches? Yeah, awesome, Marshall. So uh, I am Access Analyzer has launched two new features. Um, the first is new custom policy checks. So using the power of automated reasoning already available in IAM Access Analyzer, you can use these policy checks uh, to check resources, so specific access to certain resources, any type of like public access to those resources. And the way that these are designed, you're supposed to use them in your CI CD pipeline so that you can do these checks uh, ahead of time. Also, IAM Access Analyzer launched guided revocation, so when you get a notification that says, you know, hey, um, this has got unused access in it, and whether that's unused access for unused permissions, or unused IAM users, or uh, roles, it tells you what steps you need to take to then go remove that unused access and enable your developers. Nice, and I believe there was one more, another for I am supporting passkey for the second factor authentication. Uh, essentially, passkey authentication achieves MFA in a, a single step, so a user only needs to perform a biometric scan or enter either a device pin, and the underlying authentication process combines those two factors, making it a lot more simple for customers to enable two-factor authentication uh, on their AWS accounts. Nice. Hi everybody, my name is Frank Schwarzenau. I'm the security partner lead for the Americas regions and we're here today at Reinforce 2024 at the security partner booth. We have over 25 people here, partner development specialists and partner solution architects that are answering our customers' questions on how to be match made with our security partners. We have already had over a thousand people coming by. It's just been about a day. Uh, we have almost a day left and uh, our customers are really happy to learn about how to push the easy button, how to get connected with the right partners for the right uh, use cases, and specifically for our Gen AI questions and security. There's a lot of questions about um, how to secure Gen AI workloads or how to use Gen AI for security best practices or for security use cases. And, and our customers are delighted that our partners are already doing incredible work there. So um, we have put together a couple of great assets for our partner programs uh, like the security competency or the level one MSSP competency or a cyber insurance competency. Uh, and if you want to check out more about the partners that are validated or what kind of use cases they're already bringing to market and how they're helping our customers, check out the link below uh, to read some more. We're here today in Philadelphia for the AWS CISO Circle at Reinforce 2024. Reinforce is AWS's premier cloud security event. Today we're talking about everything from managing risks and challenges, CFO insights for CISOs, and of course, Gen AI innovation. We saw a total of 28 customers at the CISO Circle from industries like energy, ISV, life sciences, FSI, and more, in addition to international attendees who traveled from countries like Brazil, India, Vietnam, and Japan to attend. Customers were also eager to learn more about AWS resources like the AWS Cloud Audit Academy, AWS Customer Compliance Center, and AWS Security Reference Architecture. Some other exciting key AWS security announcements took place as well that will help customers secure their AI infrastructure. 
starting with some new enhancements around AWS Graviton, which is the most powerful and energy efficient AWS processor that launched at reInvent last year, which includes the addition of pointer authentication and branch target identification in Graviton 4 chips to defend against ROP and JOP attacks. There's also no simultaneous multi-threading at the chip level by ensuring that every thread of execution has its own core, which helps provide in-depth defense against side channel attacks. There is also an exciting coming soon announcement for an upcoming integrated solution between AWS Nitro Enclaves, which are isolated compute environments, and AWS Key Management Service, which makes it easy for customers to create and control their cryptographic keys. With Nitro Enclaves and KMS, customers can now encrypt their sensitive AI data using keys that they own and control. Additionally, AWS CISO Chris Betts announced during his keynote that AWS Nitro Enclaves is planning to integrate with machine learning accelerators and GPUs for handling larger AI models, as most of the compute happens on the CPU. This enhancement allows AWS to offer end-to-end -end encryption for your data as it flows through generative AI workloads. The last exciting announcement that I want to highlight is the service insertion on CloudWin, which is a new capability that lets you easily insert AWS and third-party networking and security services on CloudWin using a central policy document. Using this feature, you can easily steer VPC to VPC or VPC to on-premises traffic via network or security appliances by defining simple policy statements or alternatively using a few clicks in the UI. This feature also supports policy-based traffic steering to AWS services such as Network Firewall and Gateway Load Balancer that are deployed in inspection VPCs for East-West and North-South security inspection, allowing the seamless integration of your security infrastructure with the rest of your cloud WAN deployment. Some key benefits this feature will provide to customers is to simplify routing for network service insertion and the ease of deploying multi-region security inspection. That's a wrap on the 2024 reinforced launches. If you want to learn more, look at the links in the description below.